definitely um, go through the questions and again I will have the questions in the description bar down below and yeah so we're going to get started on yeah on the first question so the first question is greed which is your most inexpensive or expression fashion expensive fashion product almost inexpensive it's just casual everyday vests which this one is just it looks like that and it's like a cream colored one um, this was from Topshop for six pounds I think and yeah vests are definitely like our most inexpensive um, products and they're just they're good because you use them all the time and whatever and they make, they're just really easy just to just sort of get on with my most expensive product was this fur coat from Topshop and it's a Dalmatian one it's got the black contrast cuffs and collar and it's all like the silk inside and this product is absolutely incredible when I wear it I feel really expensive and I feel awesome in it and this was £98 and yeah it was a really nice product to buy um, and yeah Topshop's fur coats are generally good condition great quality and it's not really long to Really, I could say the bad about the fashion. Oh, sorry, got read out the question. Um, the second question is wrath, and it's a fashion item that you have a love hate relationship with, and what has been the hardest product to get? Um, well, I definitely have a love hate relationship with jeans. To me, some days I can wear them with an oversized top, and I can feel really confident and feel really, really happy in myself. Um, but then I get some days where I'll wear them and just think, oh. Nah. And I feel like literally the fattest person on the planet in jeans because I feel like even though I'm really self conscious of my legs, I will still like go out and wear jeans and stuff and they make my legs look really big and I don't like them. People say I look really good in jeans, but nah, just not. Um, another like love hate relationship I have as well is like with vests or like sleeveless tops because I feel like they show off my arms too much. I know like in this video ironically this is obviously a day when I'm kind of loving them and yeah I just feel like they show off a bit too much and I don't really feel very comfortable in them. So the second part of the question was asking the gear which was what has been the hardest product to get? For me if I can't find a product that I'm actually looking for I'll go on eBay and stuff like that but I was searching ages for this product and I managed to finally found it and it is this Topshop denim jacket which is sheepskin on the inside and it's in the petite and it's a size 8 and I got it on eBay but I saw it first of all in the shops and it was about 150 quid and I thought there's no way I'm going to pay 150 pounds for that and I waited like a year or so till I had tried to have a look on eBay and I found it and it was only 16 pound including postage and packaging which I thought was brilliant so yeah and I really like this. It's really nice for in the spring if it's a bit chilly or in the summer just as a late night. Um, Leah, and yeah, so that is the product that has been the hardest to receive. The third question is um, gluttony, and it's what I have, what like fashion product I have the most of, and what I wear the most. For me. I have a few pairs of shorts, which I really like shorts, and these ones are my, one of my favourite pairs, and the American flag shorts from Topshop. Um, I wear shorts quite a lot, they're just something that you can just shove on every day with just a vest or just anything really, leggings, tights, whatever you feel confident in. This is definitely a product I have a lot of, um, and I do wear quite a lot because I feel more confident in these than I do with jeans which is a bit strange and another product that I have the most of as well is I have quite a lot of skirts and this is the one I've been wearing the most of recently and it's just a black plain skirt that I got from Topshop for £16 and it's petite and yeah it goes with absolutely everything and it's great just it's really nice jersey material you can dress it up or dress it down and absolutely love this product. I have like another two sort of fashion related products that I tend to wear most of. I like to wear 
these like socks that have like the frill on I really think they're really cute and they just go nice with just like just casual shoes and nice casual outfits I think they're really nice for that and definitely a shoe that I would wear with them which I do wear quite a lot as you can probably see just how crease they are is these shoes which are from Topshop and they were £40 and they're just really sort of like a nice vintagey style boot and I really really like them. They don't have much grip on but they're alright to just walk in when it's dry and when it's a bit wet uh, but definitely I wouldn't recommend wearing these in the snow just because they don't really have like a lot of tread in them. The next question is question 4 and it's sloth and it's like which fashion product do you neglect out of laziness? Um. I don't feel like that there's like a real fashion product that I like sort of neglect out of laziness but sometimes if I'm going quick to the shop um, sometimes I might not put on a proper jacket just to like run around like if it's as cold as it is now I'd still just shove my hoodie on just to run across like a couple of doors down even though it's I should wear something with a bit more extra layer but that's something I just kind of do out of laziness I don't really like think about how cold it is outside or anything at the time I mean if it's summer I won't even like wear one I don't really do, but if I do need to put a la like an extra layer on just to pop out, it's just literally just a hoodie, just to quickly, just pretty much go, basically just out of quickness. Now the second, the second, the fifth question is, what is? Sorry, if you can hear my dog barking by the way. The fifth question is pride, and it's called like it says, what is your most confident fashion item? To me, I have two. Which one is a shoe? which I absolutely love these studded um like heeled trainers from Topshop. These were forty eight pounds and the good thing about them is, is you can take the heel out which the heel is currently out at the moment. So you can proper wear them in without the heel in first and then just put some nice insoles in and they look really I mean it's there. They've got like really nice floral insoles in which I've bought and added in so that when I don't have the heel in they're still really comfortable to wear and then you can put the heel on just add a bit more height and make you feel a bit more confident which I do have the heel in every now and again to make me feel a bit more confident in these but I absolutely love them even for comfort they're really amazing pair of shoes to wear they're really really comfortable my clothing product really that I feel really confident in is my leather jackets this one's from Dorothy Perkins um, I am getting another one for Christmas which is from Topshop um, but I absolutely love this leather jacket, it's absolutely awesome. And yeah, just really nice material. Um, leather jackets just generally they suck you in the right places and they're just absolutely awesome. And on top of that, they go with absolutely anything. Right, the sixth question is lust and it is um, what attracts me to the opposite sex? Which, um, this was like the same question that was in the Seven Deadly Sins of Beauty tag, which again I'll pop in a link in the description bar. Um, and to me, again, brown eyed and brown haired lads tend to, like, you know, I really like guys with brown hair and brown eyes. Um, I like. I like them to have a nice personality to maybe to, to make me laugh and to, you know to like show that they care about me and stuff. Um, if it had to be a fashion related as to what like I saw in a guy that was fashion related, I wanted him to feel comfortable in what he wears. Um, I would like him to have obviously like a similar style to me. Like my boyfriend, he's he has like a mix of clothes he likes to wear. Like he likes to wear jeans and he wears joggers because he does free running um, and um, yeah he wears a lot of stuff from Top Man and River Island and Next and I like the fact that he's like interested in those labels he doesn't always like he doesn't like obviously care about what he puts on but normally if I buy him any sort of like clothing item which I have this year um, it tends to be from Top Man or River Island or whatever um, so, yeah, to me that is what I find attractive in the opposite sex. So the final question is number seven, and it is envy, and it is what are you most would like to receive as a gift? 
So this is for like obviously for birthday and Christmas and stuff. Um, normally for my birthday, I normally ask Kyle for like a couple of things from Top Shop or like a pair of shoes or something like that, just so I can give him some ideas. Um, my family, I tend to just give them again with Kyle, like Kyle and just a few a couple of ideas for them to go for. Um, but this year I have asked for Christmas for a um a Top Shop leopard print onesie. Um and I would really like a like a high waisted skirt just because Alexa Chung is like my style icon and she was quite big for things like that. Like for that particular product and to me I would just love to have one just so I can style like her and to have like a really nice blousey shirt as well. And the final sort of fashion product I like, I would love a pair of Vivian Westwood shoes. That would be like incredible. That would be like a pair of shoes I would like treasure for like ever. Um, but another clothing product I would really like, it's not really like clothing, but it's like an accessory. And I would really like one of the fur, um, sort of like shawly cover things that you just kind of put on over the jackets and it lies down and you can get them from ASOS and you can get them from H&M and you can get them from Topshop, you can get them absolutely all over and they're amazing. Um, if you don't know what I mean, I'm pretty sure um, Beauty Crush has one in a video or I'll put a link down below to one at Topshop that I would really, really like. So you could have a look and you know exactly what I would mean. Um, so, yeah. So that's it for all the questions. Um, again, I will put all the questions in the description to the questions in the description bar if you would like to do the tag yourself. Um, because obviously I tag anyone that hasn't done it yet because it's just it's nice to see what kind of products you would like um, I would like a couple more ideas for videos I would like to do so if you have any more suggestions pop them in a comment down below or message me or do whatever you want just to let me know um, I am thinking that I get paid on Friday and I'm planning on buying my last couple of Christmas presents um, and I'm going. To pl I'm planning on doing um, a video about my Christmas present ideas, so that if you're lost for like the last couple of weeks of December and you're still on the run to try and get all your Christmas presents, then I will give you my ideas and what I have bought this year. And so that's it. So please keep subscribing and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.